You have to go through life with more than just passion for change. You need a strategy, and your plan better include voting. You see, change requires more than righteous anger. It requires a program, and it requires organizing. They said to me, Elizabeth, if you really want to push for this consumer agency, you got to get organized. And I said, great, how? They said, I've got two words for you, Heather Booth. I view my role as an organizer. To be an organizer, you have to love people and hate injustice. I was one of a number of Northern students that went down to do voter registration. We saw the value of working for a goal that was much larger than ourselves. We saw how you really could create change, change people's lives, change the reality by taking action. What makes you think you stand a chance up against those kind of forces? <laughs> well, first of all, it's a David and Goliath fight. We should remember that sometimes David wins. <laughs> The, the threshold belief of organizers is that it is grassroots, ordinary people putting pressure on elected officials at all levels that is the key ingredient for changing policy. It's not a theoretical thing. It's teaching the, the practices and principles and then making sure people then go out and do it. Before Heather, we didn't have a way to teach strategy. If you look at significant times in the movement, Heather is there someplace. I mean, it's like Zelig. I took the challenge seriously. I set up a training center called Midwest Academy. So what is a strategy? The way I look at a strategy is a strategy is... I said, it'll never work. You can't teach organizing. And she said, well, why don't you come out here and see what we're doing? So I did and uh, discovered that it did work. Much to my surprise. Imagine a world if you're a single mother, you don't live in poverty. Imagine a world where if you're a young black man, you're not racially profiled by the police. That world is only possible if we organize, and only if we organize. And the bell has sounded, bringing to a close an extraordinary day on Wall Street. They were spending literally more than a million dollars a day to lobby against the financial reforms and principally the consumer agency. Heather got our groups together and just kept growing the number of groups, kept showing them what was possible. The question now isn't, are you willing to die for freedom? It's also, will you live for freedom and build organization and support movements that will make change?